lease expired. Daddy, let me. The company's moving us. So? So I can't sleep and my head aches. When just a pain reliever isn't enough, you want Excedrin PM. Strong aspirin-free headache medicine plus a second ingredient to help you sleep. Tonight, Excedrin PM. Headache medicine and it helps you sleep. Also in caplets. A good way to lower your cholesterol is to eat more fiber as part of a low-fat, low-cholesterol diet. And one of the best sources of fiber is prunes. Prunes, the high-fiber fruit. Even simple motions can strain bladder muscles. If you have a bladder control problem, this is when you need a TENS. The difference? A TENS fit higher to stay in place when you need it most. A TENS gives you protection in motion. Sunk, <gasps> who would kill for? What has to be the ugliest little statuette that I have ever seen. A case that makes staying alive an art. On Murder, She Wrote. Then, Sean Connery, Kevin Costner. <laughs> taking on Al Capone. I want to hurt the man. The Untouchables, Sunday. Whoever you thought you were on the outside doesn't matter in here. <laughs> JR's committed to his latest scheme, yeah. but want to drive him crazy. Help! Dallas, tonight. When a ruthless gang of outlaws takes Paradise hostage, only one man can stop the slaughter. But will he? I am no lawman. Please. Paradise, Saturday. This is CBS. This old house has seen some living. This old floor is dim with grime. These old tiles are dull and dingy with the stubborn stains of time. I'm gonna pull... Three, two, one. Is this a joke? It's the belly-up, face-slapping, hair-raising, first-team foul-ups today at 5 and 11 on Channel 2 News. Dumbstruck, Franny? It's clear from your expression you had no idea just how involved Sean is with his partner, Lily. I guess that's why he didn't bother to tell you that she loaned him the money to pay for his partnership. I don't care where he got the loan, Gail, and what's it to you anyway? What's it to me? Well, it's simple. If he could dig up the money to pay for shares in Montgomery & Associates, he can definitely dig up the money that I'm asking for. Well, the partnership was a good investment. Giving you anything other than the plane fare back to New York would be throwing good money after bad. Well, as far as I'm concerned, Sean and I had a partnership, too. And he can't just walk away without compensating me for all the time I wasted. Well, you're in for a rude awakening. Oh, I'm quite awake. And one day you will be too, and you'll see what a self-serving user Sean really is. Oh, excuse me. You know, it's really too bad you didn't see Sean attack Mr. Reyes. But then I guess you did see him give me these bruises. Oh, yes, I did. And I also saw you deliberately provoke him to bolster your own case. And as far as Tonio goes, well, he provokes everybody. I'm surprised he doesn't get hit more often. You should be careful about him. You know, if you're trying to talk me out of going on his TV show tomorrow, you can just forget it. This time tomorrow, all of Oakdale's gonna know exactly what kind of man you're mixed up with. Excuse me. I found the money in order to buy the partnership at m &A. You did? That's great! That's great! How did it happen? Tell oh, me. Things just panned out. Not Courtney Stressman. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, great, great. I'm glad. Remember, money has a way of changing things. I can't believe. It feels as if it were a million hours ago that we left this place, and not just this morning. Grueling day. Mm, I'll say. <sighs> I was really impressed with Dr. Howard and Andy's uh, counselors, weren't you? Yeah. It's kind of rough telling your total history, personal history, to a bunch of strangers, though. But if it does Andy good, I guess it's... God, I just hate not being able to talk to him. I wish we could see him. You know, we talked to him for months until we were blue in the face, and it didn't do a hell of a lot of good. Now, maybe these people can do some good, so... You're right. So what do you want to do about dinner? I haven't even gone that far. The most important thing, as far as I'm concerned, is for me to call Bob and let him know that we're going to have sessions again tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll uh, thumb through the telephone book, see if I can find some restaurants, and uh, when you're ready to eat, give me a call. Okay. 
Oh, pal. You Thank were you. terrific today. You're pretty good yourself, you know. <laughs> Thank you. You're putting your son into a detox program. That's not going to be easy. I'd like to be with you. Honey, I really appreciate that, but John's going to be there. And the way you two are getting along right now... Okay. Just remember I offered. I promise, when I get back, my first priority will be getting our lives back to normal. One day you'll see what a self-serving user Sean really is. Daddy. Hi. I didn't know you were here. Yeah, I came to see Leanne. When did you get back? Oh, just a little while ago. I'm making rounds, honey, and I've got to make a phone call. You look exhausted. <sighs> Thank you. Daddy, you know, we were all really worried about you. Why didn't you call to let anybody know that you were up at Foxwood Lodge helping Susan? How did you know that? From Emily. Something's wrong, isn't it? What is it, Daddy? Tell me what is going on. Why are you so upset? Listen, I am dealing with enough. I don't need the third degree. I want to know why you left Foxwood Lodge without telling Bob where you were going. For God's sake, Mother. The man went up there to help you. He spent the whole night. I just needed some time alone, okay? What, are you back on the End pills? End of discussion. Are no, I'm not on back pills? on the pills. I've got more on my mind right now than pills. What does that mean? Why did you tell Casey you were resigning? Are you going to answer that? No. Why? Because I don't feel like talking to anybody, okay? Including you! I'm sorry, I just need some time alone. I'm okay, I'm fine. Please stop worrying about me. What are you me. talking about, stop worrying about you? I wouldn't even know you were here if the doorman didn't call me. Now, I'm going to answer the phone. And after I'm off, you are going to answer some questions. <sighs> Hello? Bob? This portion brought to you today by Cascade with Sheeting Action. Gives you virtually spotless dishes every time. It's Friday night at the Smith House. I'll be here any minute. Jane and Mike are having a party. To pick the music? Eight guests, friends. Spinning. The food, the music, the lighting. Candles? Nothing Blowing. was left to chance when suddenly... Glasses? Spotted. Spots? Spots. We don't have time for spots. You don't have time for spots. So use Cascade. The sheeting action rinses spots away. Maybe they'll be late. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, Maybe not. not. Don't take chances. Use Cascade because you don't have time for spots. Happy anniversary. Hey, Royal Blue. Electric Blue. Ooh. Huh. My shirt's not so electric anymore. Well, maybe the fish will like it. If your colors are fading, there's no detergent that helps protect them. And producing new cheer with Color Guard. As time goes by, you can see the difference Color Guard makes. New cheer with Color Guard. For constipation, one laxative has both more fiber and no sugar. Fiberall. These brands have equal laxative fiber. Metamucil adds sugar. Fiberall adds brand. Result, relief. Fiber all. No sugar, more fiber. Of course I killed them. I just aimed, shot, and killed those little creeps myself. Faster killing black flag ant and roach killer kills with an exterminator proven ingredient. Their kind deserve to die. Black flag. Don't tell him I'm here. I promise I'll explain everything to you. But if you love me, don't tell him I'm here. Uh, Bob, I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you were saying. Uh, I was interrupted by the super. He's, he's here. No, uh, last time I spoke to her, she just said she wanted some time alone. Right. 
Bob, I'm sorry, I, I gotta cut you short, okay? The super's here, and we're trying to deal with the plumbing problem. All right, I will. And, and thank you so much for caring about my mom. Bye. Now, I just lied to Bob, the one man who has tried to help you. So you just better have a very good explanation. So, are you hearing when Susan's coming back? No. Was well, there a problem? Oh, no. I just feel guilty for getting paid to do nothing. Hi, have you guys seen my dad? He's back? Yeah, I left him here about 15 minutes ago. Well, I wish I'd have known that. Kim called the lab looking for him. Well, he said he had a phone call to make, so I went to check on Leanne. You look a little frazzled. Was something wrong? <sighs> yeah, I, I just ran into Sean's ex-girlfriend. You know, I dislike her more every time I see her, if that's possible. She's still planning on dishing Sean on TV tomorrow? What is this? What are you guys talking about? <sighs> well... It's no secret, at least it won't be tomorrow. Sean's ex-girlfriend is thinking of suing him for palimony. You're kidding. Wow. <laughs> I thought that kind of stuff only happened in Hollywood. Yeah, I'm afraid not. And you know, the worst part about it is she's gonna go on patterns to tell her very one-sided version of the story. Your mom's show? Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Hey, wait up, wait up. Come on. How's it feel? Oh, it's fine. I just had this done to help your case. If you really want to help, file a complaint against Sean with the police. Well, my lawyer, Fred Greer, is out of town, but maybe his partner could help. Why don't I give him a call? Excuse me. Word to the wise. I don't want to know what's going on with you and Mr. Reyes, because it's very important that you look as pure as the driven snow if and when we go to court with this thing. Don't worry. I, uh, I had a little chat with Franny Hughes earlier. She was quite thrown to learn that another woman bankrolled Sean's partnership. What did she say? Oh, she's still defending him to the death. I guess she'll just have to learn about him the hard way. Is that helping? Yes, it is. Thank you. How come John Wayne never hurt his knuckles when he punched someone? Because he had stuntmen stand in for him. Yeah, well, so should I. All right, Baxter, let's get back to work. Well, isn't there something we can do? Not that I can think of. You could demand equal airtime. Oh, no, thank you. I don't really trust Blight and Nelson. I don't want to field questions like, well, have you stopped beating your wife? Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, whatever happens, I'm with you. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Listen. When Gail tells her version of our relationship on the air, it might affect m and I just want you to know that I am willing to give up my partnership if it affects Stop our business. Stop right there. That is ridiculous. Lily, clients are not a big fan of public controversy, all right? <sighs> if any of the clients have a problem with it, I'll talk to them. And if they can't handle it, then they can go somewhere else. Oh, come on. This is one part of your life I don't want you to worry about. Thanks, partner. There's the part of me that says I should be above being concerned about looking older. Then there's the real me. There's the part that says, who cares about a few little lines? Then there's the real me. Oil of Olay, so like the fluid in young skin, it penetrates in a flash to smooth, soften. There's the part that says, oh, just grow old gracefully. Then there's the real me that says, why? Wow. Hey, who's coming for dinner? Princess Di? No, just some guy with no soccer tonight. What are we celebrating? A daughter with no gymnastics tonight and a husband with no meeting tonight. The Joy Shine always shows you care. Joy's clean rinsing formula removes dishwater film and rinses so brilliantly, nothing's left on dishes but the shine. Laura, I thought it was just you and me tonight. It is. Nothing dishes out a brighter shine than clean rinsing Joy. Moms everywhere are giving subtle hints about what they want for Mother's Day. Something soothing that feels like a foot massage. Isotoner slippers. And to make her feel good all over, our body refresher kit, free with purchase. Oh, hi, Anne.
Listen, I've only got a minute, but I can talk. I'm just cleaning. New Pine Sol Spruce Ups, the pre-moistened cleaner in a cloth. They clean, wipe, and dry in one stroke. Free up your day. Spruce Up with Spruce Ups in lemon or fresh scent. Sean Connery. Kevin Costner. Taking on Al Capone. I want to hurt the man. The Untouchables, Sunday. Hi. Am I glad to see you? Listen, I have some bad news. You got in a fight with Tonio. Yeah, how'd you hear? I'll uh, let you two talk. I'll be in my office uh, trying to cheer this guy up. Well, news travels fast, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, I ran it? into Gail at Memorial, Sean. Tonio went to the emergency room. Now, come on, I thought we agreed that you would steer clear of him. Yes, well, I meant to look. Lily suggested that I go over and talk to Tonio, tell him that we might pull our client's commercials from W-O-A-K if he puts Gail on the air. And that led to a shot. fight? No, it didn't. I didn't even bring it up. Look, I just wanted to talk to her, all right? He grabbed me and, and I flipped, okay? I admit it. Je I just called Jess. She read me the riot act, okay? Yeah, well, I've got some other news, too, and it's not good. What is it? Gail knows that Lily loaned you the money to buy the partnership. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn. Go on. Go on. Oh, spit in the flower. <laughs> That's what Lily used to say. I kind of like it all sticky and gooey like that. <laughs> oh, Mama. I don't think I'm ever going to be a good cook. Oh, now, if Lily can do it, so can you. I think it's fun, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun. <laughs> so I guess uh, Caleb and Lily were really in love, huh? Yes, but things didn't work out. Not like the two of you. Things are working out beautifully. I have never seen my son so happy in his whole life. Oh, he's just the best, Mama. He's See? just the best. Good. See? Good. That's why I want to learn to cook all his favorite meals, because I want to be the greatest wife that ever lived. Well, I am sure you will be. Come on, Hi. Hi. Well, ladies. Okay, oh, what's going on here? Well, it's supposed to be a surprise for my husband, well, and I guess I should give that. What is it? I'm learning how to make Mama's famous fried chicken. For me, is yeah. she special? Huh? Yeah, she's special, but I thought we were grilling steaks tonight. We are, we are. The chicken's for tomorrow night. Oh, well, in that case, you better make a great big batch, Julie, because with uh, Emma's permission, I have invited the entire Snyder clan over here for dinner. Oh, yeah, well, we you for Waco. did, did you? You darn too, because I want you to see that they are all doing just fine mm -hmm. and that you won't have to worry a bit about them when you're down there in Texas. Uh -huh. Now, um, Lily is bringing that English fellow, the painter, what's his name, and uh, Kirk and Ellie are coming. What about Iva? Would you let me finish, woman? Iva is the first person I talk to. And she's not only going to join us, but she's asked Dr. Matthews to come on out. Well, now, does she know that uh, Kirk and Ellie are going to be oh, here? Oh, of course she... Of co would I do a thing like that? Of course she knows. Anyway, today, I took um, Ellie to lunch, and uh, Iva and Lily just happened to walk in, and before Lily and I had to leave, why, Iva and Ellie were talking again, just like sisters ought to. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well, it isn't too fast. Oh, for crying out loud, everything is too well, fast for now. you, woman. Now, let's see how really? fast we can get those steaks out of my face. Now, you can't do that by yourself? Of course. I can, uh -uh. but I don't want to. <laughs> no, we're, come on now, Cal. We're making chicken oh, here. Oh, no, no, no. That's all right. That chicken won't mind the reprieve. You it's be all right. is cooked anyway. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. Give her a hack. Come on. <laughs> you really <laughs> doing this for me? Yes, huh? I am. Look. Oh, maybe I should lick that off. Oh, huh? go ahead. Huh? It's not exactly cookie dough, but no, you're you right. might like it. Maybe I should just kiss you, huh? <laughs> Well, my hands are all gooey. Well, my hands are all dirty. Maybe we should take a shower before dinner, huh? All right. You scratch my back, I'll scrub yours. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I could think of better things to do than that. Hold that thought. All right. Hold that thought. I'm not going anywhere. Hold that position. Where am I going to go? Nowhere, just... Snyder's. Hi, Tom. Yeah, what does the DA want with me? Caleb, we have to figure out a time we can get together and talk about some facts in the Lombard case since they're going to call you and Ellie as witnesses. Uh, what about some night when Julie's working at the Mona Lisa? Great. Uh, figure out what night is best. Call my secretary and we'll put it together that way. Okay, bye. Well, he was in an awfully good mood. Huh. That's what the right woman can do for you. Oh, I know. Mm. Oh, so nice to see you two working. I'm working on a relationship with the DA's office. Thank you. Any calls? No, same old, same old. Nothing from Barbara. Tom, I want to thank you for letting me put that tracer on your phone. 
Sure, sure. I remember what it was like, how I felt when Margo was was gone. Listen, just hang in there and be persistent. It pays off. Look at us. Good afternoon. This is uh, Kenneth Cowan. He's Fred Greer's partner. He'll be representing me while Fred's out of town. Representing you? Yes, I'm here to file a complaint of assault against Sean Baxter. I believe you know him. Who says you can't have beautiful hair every day? Sometimes you need a little finesse. Sometimes you need a lot. Sometimes you need a little finesse. The finesse self-adjusting formula. Never over conditions, never under conditions. So your hair always gets the perfect conditioning, and you always get perfect hair. Sometimes you need a little What is with these people? I get this bill from my new long distance company. A month ago, they called me at home. Save big over AT&T. So I switched. Bill came, big savings didn't. Turns out they compared their special Why? discount plan to oh, AT&T's regular going. prices. I don't understand what's going on. Now they tell me? Come on, guys. If this is all I get, I'm not hanging around. People who thought they could do better than AT&T are coming back for the real value. Aren't you glad you never left? Real. Everybody knows the pain reliever doctors recommend most for headaches is Tylenol. But they also recommend Tylenol most for lower back pain, knee injury pain, contusion pain, and on and on. Tylenol, recommended the most by the people who know the most. Isn't it kind of a weird idea? No, it absorbs odors, doesn't it? No, I know. Oh, I think it makes perfect sense. You stay free. Now with odor-absorbing baking soda inside every pad. It's protection like nothing else. Stand tall. Monday, Casey takes some major advice against a bully too far. No way this situation's her fault. You're right. It's yours. An all-new Major Dad. Then, just three shows left, it's Newhart, The Last Laughs, when Michael finds out his long-lost father is... Giddy Goose. Oh. Newhart, right after Major Dad, Monday. Get ready for Big Laughs when Small Talk premieres tonight. Uh, yeah, Casey called about five minutes ago. No, she's not back yet. I will. Thanks, Matt. Bye. That was Dr. Matthews. Oh, Mom, you can't hide out forever. Everyone's looking for you. Bob, Casey, Matt. Would you like some herbal tea? No, I would like some answers. I want to know why you let Foxwood Lodge without telling Bob where you were going. Sweetheart, I have to stop looking to Bob for help. I'm sure Kim is not delighted with all the time he's been spending with me. That's ridiculous. Honey, I I've got Lucinda on my back. I don't need another enemy. Mother, Kim is not going to become your enemy. Come on, it's different. John and Lucinda's marriage was falling apart, and you had an affair with John. Kim and Bob happen to be solid as a rock. Hey, listen, can, 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 can we talk about something else? No, we can't. Look, Bob told me that you had three sample packets of pills with you. Oh, here. Three, look, unopened. Satisfied? Why are you so hyper? I, j I just had time to look at my life, and I don't like what I see. It's very empty and depressing. Hey, just a second. You have a very important job. You have a lot of friends who care about you. I know that. And if you haven't noticed, you have a daughter who loves you very much. I know, darling, but... Okay, why did you tell Casey you were resigning? Because I... I, I just wanted to get away from everything, from all my mistakes. I had an affair with a married man. I was stupid enough to do that. I thought you were totally over John. Look, you should know by now. It's not that easy. I'm sorry. I, I, I really didn't mean to say that. I'm just so sick and tired of everything. Listen to me. Listen to me. Dr. Matthews said that you would be feeling shaky and depressed while you're going through withdrawals. Please, Mom, don't make any major decisions while you're in this state of mind. I won't. You're right. 
And maybe someday I, I'll even be able to explain things to you better than I am right now, but obviously not today. Who is it? It's me. Hi. Well, shower, change, feel a little bit better. Good. How about you? Oh, I feel I'm a little more optimistic. Hot bath helped. You get hold of Bob? No, I talked to Nancy, though, and she said he's back at the hospital, so I left a message for him to call me when he's oh. free. Because I realize the reason he's not here is me. I mean, with us right now. Let's not get into that. It's pointless. I just hope that uh, he realizes this. This is all because all I wanted to ever do was just help our son. I hope he knows that. I know. I understand. I promise you, when we get back to Oakdale, as chief of staff of the hospital, I have the power to give him a long vacation. I will. <laughs> the two of you can do whatever it is that you do. Great. Great. Appreciate it. So, what do you want to do about dinner? Do oh, you want to go out? Truth? No. <laughs> I don't feel much like it myself. I tell you, there's a Chinese joint down the road. We could order something in. Oh, Eat great. here. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Any uh, requests? Re what? Anything. It's fine. You got it. Listen, uh, this is a whole lot easier going through with you along. Thank you. Staring at the ceiling. We, Worry. We can't have that. get back. We'll talk, okay? Mom. What? Hello, stranger. It's fresh. Deli Select from Hillshire Farm. Keep the young Kennedys tonight at 11 on Channel 2 News. And now part two of As the World Turns. So I guess you didn't get my messages? Yes, yes, I did. I just thought I'd wait until I got home to call, and I just walked in. How are things with Andy? Well, I don't know. I haven't seen him since this morning. They don't allow any visitors or family for the first full week. Does that mean you're heading home? No, oh, don't I wish. John and I are due tomorrow at 11 o'clock for another full day of lectures. Honey, are you still there? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, 
I'm just tired. Oh, Lord, you and me both. As soon as I eat, I'm going to look at some of this literature, and then I'm going straight to bed. Good. Are you okay? I told you I'm tired. That's all. Oh. Well, uh, and get some rest, and don't forget to give Chris a hug for me. I will. Listen, I left uh, the telephone number here with your mom and with your secretary, but let me give you the number at Wellspring. Uh, hold on a second. Go ahead, shoot. It's 312-555-4930. Got it. Honey, I'll be home as soon as I can, I promise. And then my first priority is for us to get our lives back to normal. So you get some rest, okay? You too. I love you. I love you too. Good night. So, Gary, you getting used to this madhouse? Yeah. Finally got the hang of insurance claims. <laughs> Better you than me. Hey, <laughs> owe you a lot, man. Uh, just talk to the vets. Tell them there are other jobs out there. Yeah, the trouble is finding them. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I thought about lining up some volunteers, you know? Call local businesses, put together a directory of possible jobs that people like us could do. I think I could sure give you a hand with those calls. Could you? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Hey, sorry I'm late. I was with Lynn. Hey, Gary. Hey, hi, Duke. Casey was spilling me in. Uh, how's your girlfriend doing? Ah, oh, thanks for asking. Uh, she's a little weak, but she's definitely getting better. Oh, glad to hear it. Hey, I got to be going. My van's due in ten minutes. All right. Yeah. Actually, we got to get going to the campus. Right, right, right. Are you going back to school? Uh, yeah, sort of. I got an interview for a job uh, lecturing at the med school. Hey, good luck. <laughs> thanks. Later, man. So, uh, <clears throat> you seen Dr. Bob around? Actually, no. I said he already made his rounds and split. Yeah, I don't know if he knows this yet, but uh, my pop called and said he and Kim are staying at Park Forest for another day. Ooh, yeah, that's not going to make Bob happy. Yeah, I know. Hey, Hi. hey, Emma. Hey, is your mom you? enjoying her vacation? Yeah, she is. Um, Duke, would you mind if I talk to Casey for a minute alone? Oh, sure. I'll, uh, I'll meet we'll, you downstairs. Right? Go with the van. Sorry, okay, thanks. Hi. Hi. I saw Mom. She's still talking about resigning? No, no, but she's in such a strange mood. I don't know what she's going to do. Is she back on the pills? I don't think so, but Casey, I can't tell. I, I think this whole thing with John just upset her a lot more than she's admitted. Oh, I, I thought she'd have been over that by now. Me too. That's all she keeps talking about. Anyway, she's going to step out of the hospital tomorrow. Could you please tell Bob and Matt? Oh, sure, sure. Is there anything else I can do? No, just keep being a friend, all right? You've been really terrific. Well, she's terrific. Thanks, Casey. All right. See you later. Take care, Elmer. I meant to tell you about it, but Lily insisted that the loan was just between the two of us. Well, Gail found out somehow. Yeah, I'd like to know how. Uh, maybe there's a good guess or something. Anyway, I'm going to have to deal with Tonio's complaint. Like you said, I should have just stayed away from him. You're more than free to say I told you so. But from now on, when you say something, I will... Listen. I told you so. Excuse me, I didn't know you were still here, Fanny. Can we finish up the strict coke count? Margo just called. Tony is filing a complaint. I have to go to the police station. Oh, that's awful. Anything I can do? No, just hold down the fort. I've got to go make a statement. Sure. Listen, good luck tomorrow. And don't worry about patterns. If the clients give us any flack, I'll handle it. Montgomery and Associates, Lily Walsh speaking. Barbara, is that you? I've never seen. How about taking Pete and Jenny off my hands? You dreaming about me again? Oh, <laughs> So that's about it. I didn't mean to lose it, but if Tonio's going to file a complaint, I'm going to have to plead guilty. 
Well, Sean, let's just hope Tonio doesn't push it that far. Uh, Sean, you're gonna have to figure out a way to keep a lid on your temper. If Jessica has to go to court with this thing, she's gonna have trouble. I know. I'll tell you, I'm just a little on edge with Gail about to tell lies about me on television. Uh, I understand. What are we doing there? Well, you're here pretty late. Uh, not my idea, believe me. You know, I got hung up with the commissioner. Uh, Margo, I'm gonna talk to you first thing in the morning. Sure, I'll be here. Good. Franny? Can I give you a lift home? Oh, thanks, Mac, but I'm having dinner with Sean. Oh, that seems to be a better deal, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hal, did you hear about Barbara's call to Lily? Oh, uh, yeah, Lily called me. Unfortunately, Barbara was not on the line long enough, so we could trace it. What'd she call about? To thank Lily for handling BRO. Well, like Tom says, you hang in there. Persistence. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, Mac. Listen, we better go. Okay. Right. Yeah. We'll see, see you guys ya. later. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Hang in there, persistence. If my wife would concede to talk to me, maybe it'd have something to hang in there for. Listen, I don't know what your plans are tonight, but if you don't have any, why don't you come over to the house, have some dinner, and spend a little time with Adam? Thanks, I might just do that. Gotta talk to Hershey and forensics. Do you know what you are, Thomas Christopher Hughes? Mm -hmm. You're a good man. Oh, I was hungrier than I realized. Mm. What are you thinking about? I was just thinking, you know, the last time that I had Chinese takeout was with Susan. I would sure like to be able to make it up to her. You know, it could be the best thing to do is just to leave that alone. Yeah, well... Maybe. I can probably squeeze some more tea out of one of these bags. You want? No, no. No, thanks. No, I'm going to go back and try to wade through all this literature that we were given. Mm -hmm. You know? You don't need to do that. I'll clean up. It's all right. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. okay. Why don't you stop by in the morning? We'll have breakfast. All right, fine. Seems kind of strange, Andrew being so nearby, and yet we can't even say goodnight to him. I know. God, I hope it all works out. It will. It will. Good night, Ken. Honey, are you okay? I told you, I'm just tired. That's all. Fresh tomatoes for more fresh tomato taste. So, how'd the interview go? Well, uh, I don't want to jinx it, but with any luck, I'll be lecturing on emergency room techniques next hey, fall. That's great. <laughs> I can't wait to tell the guys at the VA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Hey, guys. Hey, hey dude. dude, how's Leanne? Your wife wouldn't let me see her. She's tough, man. <laughs> hey, I got to go to work. I'll see you later, Professor. Okay, take see care. You again. Listen, could you could you help me with a phone call? Sure. Uh, what's the number? It's uh, Bob and Kim's. I gotta talk to Bob. Also, don't mention Susan's coming back today, so don't mention that um, I've been working on this article on her research. Okay. You gotta mention it sometime. Man. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I figure I might as well wait till it's accepted for publication. That way, it'll be a big boost to her. Yeah. Hi, it's Duke. Um. Casey wants to speak to your pop. Yeah. Franny's yeah, calling him. Stick it right in my neck there. How's that? Uh, a little in farther in. There you go. Okay. Listen, I need to talk to him private. Do you mind? Sure. I'll get some coffee. Thanks. Hey, Bob? Yeah, listen, I'm glad I caught you. Uh, Emily called. She told me that Susan's coming back today. But listen, I talked to her last night, and she was really hyper, and, and she was talking about resigning. No, no, she's absolutely confident that Susan's not taking the pills. She seems to think she's still hung up on John. That's what she said. Gail, I think rehearsal went very well. well. I'm glad, because I was kind of nervous. Well, it was obvious Mrs. Kaminsky was nervous. Blythe is talking to her now, trying to get her to relax. Uh -huh. But I wouldn't worry. I thought you looked wonderful. Oh, thanks. 
You know, I really thought Sean would have settled before things got this far. Now I have to cough up a lawyer's fee. Well, as I told you before, I'd be glad to cover your legal fees until Sean settles. Well, what if he doesn't? What if I lose? Don't think that way. May I have a word with my client? Of course. Remember what I said. I just want to remind you to stick to the facts we agreed on. And don't talk about the bruises. I want to save that for court. Now, I'll be just off camera. If you're not sure how to answer any particular question, watch me. Okay. Now, are you sure you don't want to turn this over to an associate at a lower fee? No, I want you, and I'll give you a check. Okay. Now, just remember, any personal relationships that become public knowledge will work against us in court. I interrupt Mr. Gifford. I need to speak with Gail. Sure. Thanks. Gail, I'm uh, a little bit worried about Irene Kaminsky. She seems to be having second thoughts, so I may want to spend more time with you. All right, no problem. Great. I'm taking over for the regular host, Kim Hughes, so this show has got to be right on the money. Kim Hughes? Mm hmm Any relation to Franny Hughes? Her stepmother. Anyway, let's make the show pay off for both of us, okay? Okay. Dad, Tommy's here. He wants to talk to you. Yo, Dad, you come in. Oh, he's gone. Now, why would he leave without saying goodbye when we were just in the kitchen having breakfast? I don't know. Did you get a chance to talk to him? No. Um, I don't know. He, he was in bed when I got home last night. Maybe, maybe Casey's call was an emergency. You know, maybe so. Uh, I'll see if I can catch him at the hospital. Tommy, did you know that the emergency that Dad was out with all night had to do with Susan? Susan Stewart? Yeah, Emily said that he had to drive all the way up to Foxwood Lodge to help Susan because she was having problems with her back. Oh, the injury she got before Christmas. That's what Emily said. Well, then why wouldn't Dad call Graham or anybody and let us know that he was up there? Take some vegetables and presto salad shooters. Shoot some slices of salad shooter. Point and shoot to your life. Get the power of SOS Glass Cleaner. For any kind of mess, call SOS. All right, Ace, listen, you have a good one. Yeah, let's hope your mother calls. Hey, how's Paul feel about being back in the business world, huh? Well, he sounds okay about it. I hope he really is. Yeah? Yeah. Any word from Barbara? No, and she hasn't faxed those letters to Jess, either. Well, let's just hope. Say, I'm real glad you came by last night. Hey, I'm glad Tom asked me. It was great to spend some time with Adam. Well, it was great to see you with your spirits up. And it's great to get back to the foster days. Bye. Good luck with it. Bye. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 what did you want to talk to me about, huh? Well, I didn't want to say anything in front of Hal or Tom until I had a chance to run this by you first. The commissioner agreed to let me turn over some of my responsibilities to you if you want to take them on. Hey, you deserve it. I... I don't know what the salary's gonna be, but I understand it's gonna be hefty. It doesn't matter. Thank you, Mac. Oh, oh. Well, I take it this is a yes? Well, yeah. I, well, no, I, can, can I talk to Tom about it? Well, of course you can. Yeah, but don't take too long. No, I won't. Right. I won't. I won't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to hear about a promotion. I just want to hear you're pregnant and ready to become a full-time wife and mother. I suppose you're all packed for our trip tomorrow. Oh, Lord, I haven't even started. I sure wish we could go with you. I'd love to meet Meg and Josh. Do you think there's any chance of them coming for a visit? Uh, I, I, I kind of doubt it, you know. I was thinking about that, you know, and I think it would work out okay if they stayed over at your house. Well, I guess that's a thought. Listen, will you help me get those clothes off the line? Yeah. Hello? Okay. Yeah, who can I say is calling? It's a Dr. Howard for you? I don't know Dr. Howard. Me either. Hello? Mrs. Snyder, I'm the director of the Wellspring Center in Park Forest. Uh, Andrew Dixon, one of my patients, gave me your name and number. Is Andy okay? Uh, yes, don't be alarmed. Uh, Andy's doing our program, as I think you know. 
Yeah, I knew that. In about a week, I'm going to start some counseling sessions with Andy, and from what he tells me, personal problems between the two of you uh, helped trigger his drinking. Uh, I was hoping you'd agree to come to Park Forest for one of our sessions. What do you think of all that literature? I thought it was very helpful. Yeah. I thought uh, also it was very depressing when I read that almost 50% of these kids end up back drinking after four years. Yes, well, Andy is going to be in the other 50%. I mean, parents that care has got to count for something, right? I hope so. Listen, do you mind if I turn patterns on? We're doing kind of an interesting show today on local journalists. Should be interesting to see how your opinion gets molded. Welcome to Patterns. I'm Blythe Nelson, filling in today for Kim Hughes. With me are Mrs. Irene Kaminsky and Ms. Gail Kincaid. They are going to be telling us how they both became women who sacrificed for ungrateful men. In my letter to John, I emphasized how valuable Casey's been to my research. I know I can count on you to make sure he continues there, no matter who John winds up hiring to replace me. I've also written a letter to Emily, trying to make her understand why I'm leaving. But I promise you, what happened between us last night is still our secret, and always will be. And please, Bob, don't worry about me. I am not on pills, and I will never go back on them. You can count on that. Most of all, I want to thank you for the incredible support you've given me. I don't think you really know just how strong you are. Much stronger than I am, or I would have never told you how I've come to feel about you. I just hope that what happened between us won't ever cause a problem in your marriage. That's one guilt trip I don't think I could live with. So goodbye, dear friend. Maybe one day our lives will cross again when my feelings for you are under control. But if that doesn't happen, please know that I am eternally grateful. My love, Susan. From the heart of Hidden Valley comes a healthy... Tommy should be ashamed of what it did to Private James Griffin. You'll feel the same after you see his story on 60 Minutes this Sunday. Stay tuned for Guiding Light, next on most of these CBS stations. Fashions by Betsy Johnson. This is Dan Region, inviting you to join us again Monday, or as the world turns. This is.